Let's do number one and two off the review, just, just for review. Uh, so number one, use a calculator. Lots of calculator on this test. Um, let R be the region bounded by the graph of y equals x squared. Okay, I know what that looks like. And the line y equals 4. Okay, so this is not volume. This is area. This is supposed to be an easier problem, but we haven't done an area problem in a while. So I just want that area. I'm not rotating it. I'm not building cross sections out of it. I just want that area. Um, so let's see. Um, is this going to be dx or dy? Are we adding up the are they are the rectangles now? Are they stacked in the x direction or are they stacked in the y direction? They're stacked in the x direction. So this is dx. I need to figure out then where this intersection is. So I know from what to what. So where does the graph where does this parabola intersect y equals 4? And if you draw your graph neatly, you can maybe get it from the graph. It would be 2. If you want to do it sort of algebraically, you would just say, well, where does x squared equals 4? Well, negative 2 and 2. So we're going to add up all the rectangles from negative 2 to 2. Uh, their thickness is dx. Their height is the top one minus the bottom one. So, oh, this is where if we were in the calculator, we could do y1 minus y2, or we could just say uh, 4 minus x squared. Math 9, if you make it that far, you've made it far enough because you can figure out everything that goes in after that. 10.667. Some of these have some symmetry shortcuts if you're, you would really only use them if you're doing them by hand. So like you, you could do 2 times the integral from 0 to 2 of the same thing because you can tell by looking that it's symmetric. Um, you'd, you'd probably only do that if you had to do it by hand because plugging in 0 would be easier. But if the calculator is doing it, who cares about making the calculator's life easier? He can handle it. Because it was, I think when we first did this, so it's the integral from left to right of top minus bottom dx. The top curve minus the bottom curve. Uh, the tricky ones are the ones that are dy, but that would be from bottom to top of right minus left. So there's your two area formulas. Number two, let R be the region in the first quadrant enclosed by the lines x equals 3, y equals 1, y equals 1, x equals 3, and y equals e to the x over 3. I don't really know what e to the x over 3 looks like, so, well, I guess I have a calculator, but so if I put in 0, 
e to the 0 is 1. If I put in 3 is going to be the next easiest number to put in. Um, I get e to the first, which is e. So that's up here. So my base area is right there. And that top number is e, which is 2.7-ish. Now, you have a calculator, so if you weren't sure of any of those, especially that e to the x over 3, let's see, let's see if that looks right. Yeah. Okay. Next, if the equilateral triangle cross sections are perpendicular to the x axis. So, equilateral triangles coming up out of the page. So I need to add up all of the, add up, so sum all of the triangles. And are there, what's the thickness of those triangles? Are they, and the same question is, are they stacked up in the x direction or in the y direction? The x direction, so their, their thickness is dx. Uh, the area of an equilateral triangle Here's something you need to memorize, root 3 over 4 times s squared. Um, root 3 over 4 s squared dx, so we'll add them up in the x direction from 0 to 3. Now I just need to figure out what S is. So how big is S? Yeah, the top curve minus the bottom curve. Um, so the top curve is e to the x over 3, and the bottom curve is just 1. And this would be enough work shown, now because now you can go to the calculator. Like, here's what we're doing, and there and there's what s is. So. look fancy with the fraction bar. Root 3 over 4. Parentheses, because I need to square what s is. e to the x over 3 minus 1 squared dx. So that volume now is 0.984. Uh, 0.985. Root 3 over 4, 0 to 3, s squared. Yeah. Uh, lots of spots for um, partial credit here, right? Like picture, graphs, some steps along the way of the integral, and then the final answer.
other questions? Keep going. You want me to do three and four, or three or four on the review? I'll see if I have time to do both of them. We can get them set up. Maybe I won't go to the calculator. Use the region enclosed by y equals x cubed, y equals 0, and x equals 2. OK, so if x equals 2, then we're heading up to 8 for a cube graph. So there's my base area. And again, you got a calculator. So if you forgot what x cubed looks like, you can type that in the calculator and see. Find the volume if the region is rotated around the x-axis. x-axis. Reflect it across. Draw some circles. It's a skinny thing. Or small looking thing. Uh, discs or washers. may be hard to tell, but disk or washers for this problem? Disks. So all I need is a big R. They're stacked up DX from 0 to 2 of big R squared. So as soon as I find big R, I'm ready. So what is What's R equal to? X cubed. It's the, the distance from the X axis to there. So that's Y. That's X cubed. So now I've shown enough work. This is I can go straight to the calculator. Uh, I can't really type that in the calculator as it is. I would need to put it in like this. And then let the calculator go from there. Just so we can get through number four, I'm going to leave that alone. So same region, uh -oh, rotated around y equals 8. Same base region, y equals 8. Tricky to see this one, but this or washers on this one. Washers, so I need an R, a big R squared and a little R squared. Uh, they're still stacked up DX. Still from 0 to 2. Big R squared minus little R squared. So I don't know that this is quite half the points yet, but I'm getting close. Um, even if I haven't identified big R and little r, because I've got the equation set, I've got I know it's dx, I've got the limits right. So it's like a point for dx, a point for the limits, a point for the overall formula, a point for r, a point for little r, and then a point for the answer maybe. So. I wouldn't say use the opposite. If, if it's dx, you're using x numbers for the limits. Yeah. Is that what you're trying to ask? What's big R for this one? It's 8. Good. It's a constant 8. Like the outside of this thing is a constant, like a cylinder on the outside. The little r is a little bit trickier. What's little r? Good, 8 minus x cubed. Not cube root because it's it's that y height which is x cubed. If you were having to do it the other way, then you would have taken a square root. So now this is pretty much ready to go in the calculator and get an answer. 